In this video, I'm reviewing the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Is it any good? Keep watching. Welcome to the video. So just a quick FYI, uh, Rode are not paying us to do this video review. What we're doing now is we're gonna be doing some videos on the products that we use to help produce some of the videos you're watching now. So some of the microphones that we use, like the Rode VideoMic Pro, the SL600, just to show you how we make better videos here at Editor's Keys. But anyway, is this microphone any good? Let's get into some of the new specs and features of this new mic. So shotgun microphones actually come with a lot of problems usually. So we've got the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus here, and this was the shotgun microphone we were using before. This is the Tackstar uh, shotgun microphone, the SGC598. Now, there's so many problems on shotgun microphones that you may not be aware of, and I just wanna quickly go over some of the problems we had with a shotgun like this, because Rode seems to have listened to the creator community and fixed all of those issues. So the first issue is battery. Uh, on a shotgun microphone like this, it takes AA batteries, but it uses the power quite fast. The Rode has a built-in battery pack, and it's re really easily accessible through this little barn door here, which is really, really cool. Um, you can charge it with a micro USB, and it goes for hours and hours. Um, I just love that in this. Uh, secondly, the thing I really don't like about this microphone is that the cable is non-user replaceable. And this means, as you can see here, it's become a bit loose and that actually affects the audio quality of the microphone. Now what Rode has done is they've supplied a cable that you can actually remove and plug in as you wish. And this is good for a couple of reasons. It means one, if your cable gets damaged, you can just throw that away and replace the cable. And secondly, you can actually change the cable for an extender cable. So let's say you wanna use it for a video show like this. You could have the microphone just above my head and then use an extension cable to get into your camera. On the back of the microphone, we have a high pass filter, which we'll test later out in the Manchester markets. There's a three stage audio gain, which we'll also test later and a high frequency boost. What I like about this microphone, it also has a safe channel, which is super helpful if you have any peaking in your audio recordings. It will actually record a second version of the recording onto a different channel, so you can rescue some of your damaged audio. Now, another absolute killer feature on this microphone is the automatic on feature. Now, how many times have you recorded a perfect take only to realize you didn't turn on the microphone? Well now, this microphone activates and turns on when you turn on the camera. This alone is worth buying this microphone in my opinion. So if you're thinking about getting this microphone, you might be a YouTuber, a business person, or a travel vlogger. So let's get out of the office now and go down to Manchester's Christmas markets to put this microphone through its paces. Right, so we're out of the office and we're at the Manchester markets to test out this Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Now, as you can probably hear, the sound is pretty good when you're about two feet away. Um, but there's a bit of a misconception with these kind of shotgun mics that they're the ultimate microphone for kind of all work. And it's not really the case, you know, as you can hear, this sounds pretty good from this distance. But if we go back, say, more than five or six feet in a second, you'll hear that it doesn't really work as well. So I'd really recommend it if you're a travel vlogger and you're talking to the camera, you're doing some selfie work, or you want to record some ambient noise in a place like this market. But let's go around the market and we'll show you how the mic works in different places. So just to show you, as mentioned, you know, this works all right if you're about two feet away. I'm just gonna walk back from the microphone a little and you'll see even from this distance, I'm only about five feet away and probably the, the audio has already sort of gone down the pan a little bit. So just make sure when you are using a microphone like this that you stay pretty close to the mic if you want some good, crispy, clean audio. Four, please. Okay. 
Now in this little test we're testing out the high pass filter. So what a high pass filter does is it removes some of the sort of low frequency noises. So if you've got air conditioning, if you've got traffic noise in the background, it should help to reduce that and then bring out your vocals or your, your talent a little bit more. So we've come to a place just behind the markets where we've got some diesel generators, we've got a little bit of traffic here. So at the moment it's set to zero, it's not on at all. So now if we switch it to 75, we'll see how well that works. Okay, so we're on the 75 setting now. We'll see how well this works. Sometimes it doesn't work at all, sometimes it works quite well. Now if we whack it up to 150, we'll see if there's any difference in the noise levels at all. Okay, so we're now on 150. Can you hear any difference in the background noise at all? Let me know in the comment section below and let me know if this has helped you. So I just wanna cut in here at this point. And when doing this test of the high pass filter, we couldn't really hear the effectiveness of it when we were out at the markets, but actually listening back to it in Premiere, you know, the, the 75 doesn't seem to do much if I'm really honest. The 150 does take down the background noise a little bit, maybe not quite as much as I'd liked, but it does do a good job. And I think really, if you're looking for something that can take out the hum, maybe some air conditioning noise, air conditioning noise Maybe turn it on, but also think about using something like Adobe Audition or the background noise filters in Final Cut or Adobe Premiere to help you get that crispy, nice, clear audio. So another thing I like about this microphone is its gain control features. A lot of shotgun microphones don't have this feature, but it allows you to take the audio down by minus 10 or plus 20. So this is really good if you're in an area where there's a lot of crowd noise, there's a lot of music playing, and you just want to bring the levels down. So maybe now if we switch to minus 10, I can show you what that does to the audio. So this is now minus 10, and you should hear the audio levels of my voice has been brought down quite substantially, so it's super helpful if you're in a busy environment. Now let's put them up to plus 20, and you'll probably hear a little bit of peaking. Okay, so now we're on plus 20, and you should instantly hear that my voice sounds a lot louder. So this is quite handy if you need to go further away from the microphone. You saw in some of the earlier tests that these microphones don't work super well when you're more than sort of five feet away. So having this extra uh, 20 plus decibel gain control really helps if you do need to be a little further back from the camera. So there we go, that's our review and test of the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Now I've got to say, I'm really impressed with this microphone. This is a microphone that we actually use on a daily basis here at Editor's Keys. We use it for some of the studio stuff, but mainly in the studio we use the SL600 or a lav mic system. But we use this on the go when we're doing our trade shows in Amsterdam, in Las Vegas, things that you might have seen here on the channel. Uh, you'll see this microphone being used. And it's just a great mic if you're trying to capture the ambience or if you're doing some close up pieces to camera, you know, if you're walking around airports, things like that. It's really, really good. So I would recommend this if you're a creator to have this in your camera bag. It's a thousand times better than the inbuilt mic on your uh, camera or DSLR. So definitely take a look at this. I'll put a link in the description below and let me know in the comments what you think of this new Rode VideoMic Pro Plus microphone. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, give it a subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.